I just counted 10,000 grains of rice to show you how much 1 billion really is. Before I get started counting all that rice, comment down below how long do you think it took me to count 10,000 grains of rice? And you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the very end to know how long it took me to count that much rice to really realize and understand how much 1 billion really is. And then I got some crazy stats, some crazy information for you. So please stay tuned to the end. And without further ado, Let's get started counting rice. So I got a nice pile of rice right here. If I need more, I got a huge box of rice. I can add more, but I think this should be good for 10,000. And in this example, this one grain of rice is going to represent $100,000. So that if I count 10,000 grains of rice, that'll represent $1 billion. And I have a nice stopwatch right here to record how long it's gonna take me to count 10,000 grains of rice. And let's get started. Five, 10. I'm not gonna count like that. I'm, I'm gonna use this knife. I'm just gonna count by five, so.
All right, that is 10,000. Whew. Took me one hour, 37 minutes, and 54 seconds. How close was your guess? Here's 10,000 grains of rice, and I'm gonna show you how that represents $1 billion. So we have one grain of rice, which equals $100,000. So then 10 grains of rice would be $1 million, and 100 grains of rice would be $10 million. And then over here we have the 10,000 grains of rice, which is $1 billion. Now just look at that comparison. I always thought being a millionaire was a lot of money, and it is. But compared to one billion, that's absolutely nothing. Look, I just took out probably over a hundred grains of rice, which is over ten million dollars to buy a mansion, to buy a sports car, you name it. And you can't even it didn't even make a dent in our billion dollars. You didn't even notice that it was gone. It's honestly so hard to comprehend one billion dollars. So I got some crazy stats, just some information for you regarding billions. Often in the business world, there's things referred to as unicorns, and those are private businesses that are worth over $1 billion. And there are thousands of them out there. Now these are generally like smaller companies, startups, but really just needs to be a private company. If you're looking at the stock market, if you look at the S&P 500, every single one of those companies is worth over a billion dollars. On the bottom of the list is Fox. And even still, they're worth $15.13 billion as of lately. So if you take that 10,000 grains of rice, add another 15 piles of 10,000 grains, then you have the valuation of the, uh, the one of the smallest companies in the S&P 500. And then if you look at the top tier, you know, you're looking at Apple, Amazon, companies that are worth over a trillion dollars right now. If you look at Apple, their current market cap or their current valuation is around is around 2.32 trillion dollars. So if you take those 10,000 grains of rice and you multiply that pile by 2,300 something, that's how much Apple is worth. Not to mention how much cash alone they have on hand. According to their balance sheet, they have around $17 billion of cash. So there are hundreds, well, even thousands of companies that are worth over a billion dollars. It's, it's just crazy to think about how much money that is. Then if you kind of take a turn and you look at people that are worth over a billion dollars, you're looking at Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, people like that. According to Forbes, there's 2,600 something people worth over a billion dollars alone. That is one person with all that money. If they were to drop a hundred dollar bill on the ground, it's probably not worth their time to pick up that hundred dollar bill. If you stuck around to the end, just know that I, I, I can't take credit for this video idea. Um, I kind of got inspiration from a TikTok video slash YouTube video from Humphrey Yang. Um, so go check out his original video, link in the description below. I appreciate it so much, but before you go, please smash the like button just because I had to count all that rice.